Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everyone. Yon, masaya tayong lahat dito ay 9 a.m. Come on. So let's give the Lord a clap of praise. Ready po ba yon? Yan. Boy na boy. My name is Jay Lord. I'm one of the pastors of Victory Quezon Avenue. It's actually my joy and my privilege to preach the word of God to us today in behalf of our senior pastor, Pastor Noel Namies. So, but before that, let me just say or greet you. Merry Christmas, no? Kasi it might probably be the, you know, first and the last we're going to meet here. Kasi nga po, I've been preaching regularly sa Saturday. So, minsan lang po, ako mapunta ng, ng Sunday. And we always greet there, Hooray, it's Saturday! And so, let me greet you, Hooray, it's Sunday! Alright? Sunday ngayon eh. Anyway, so if you are here and you have been uh, with us in the last week of our uh, start of our series, actually, we are into this one thing outside the box. And, uh, we talk about finances here, that's why, that's the title, no? We think outside the box, not really the box where we put something in. It's actually a box that talks about money, all right? That's why, that's the spelling. And uh, last week, we, I believe that it's important for us to understand that there's so much more to life than money, amen? Hindi lang po pera-pera ang buhay natin. And if we are actually focusing our eyes on the money alone, ako, napakarami ho nating namimiss. And uh, talking about you know, this topic today, we'll be talking about anxiety or what causes so much trouble in our mind. And let, that, and let me just begin with this one. I don't know if you have, you know, um, seen yourself in this situation or probably some of you have passed through the situation where in maybe 2 a.m. in the morning or 2.30 in the morning and you are still wide awake. You toss and turn on your bed. You change your pillow, you tuck yourself in, all right, in your, in your blanket, and yet you're still up. There's no sleep to be found anywhere. While the rest of your household, they're already enjoying their trip in the dreamland. You are still awake. Maybe it's so in, in, this, in the silence of night, the sound of the clock sounds so loud in your ears. Every tick of the clock reminds you you're losing your chance for a good sleep. Why? Because you are restless. We're uneasy. We're thinking about the challenge that awaits us tomorrow. The bills that's coming. The debt that's ballooning. You know, the looming debt that we have. All of this stuff. And then we see tears rolls in our eyes. Because we know we're losing the chance of a good sleep. And yet, we are uneasy. Anxiety. So what would that made you? What would that made us? A lesser Christian? No, we're not. I want to tell you this. You're normal. Lahat po tayo dumadaan dyan. Even Christ Himself passed through the same experience. Remember in the mountain of Gethsemane? Three times He was crying before His Father, pleading to take away the cup of suffering. That's why He said, Lord, Father, if it is possible, Take this cup away from me. The anxiety was so great that his heart pounds so much that breaks the capillaries and then a crimson tears falls from his eyes. Anxiety. Christ himself passed through it. And guess what? He ended up victorious when he said, Father, not my will, but your will be done. What's the key there? It's surrender to the will of God. You know, he, made, he was victorious. He made it through. And I want to tell you this, you're going to make it through as well. Amen? And so today, I want to talk about Jesus and anxiety. I want to ask everybody, let's all stand. Pag-usapan po natin ito. We're going to read from Luke chapter 12, verse 23 up to 34, I guess. It says here, and he said to his disciples, Therefore I tell you, do not be anxious about your life what you will eat, nor what your body, nor about your body, what you will put on, for life is more than food, and the body more than clothing. Consider the ravens, they neither sow nor reap, nor gather, nor have neither storehouse nor barn, and yet God feeds them. Of how much more value are you than the birds? And which of you, by being anxious, can add a single hour for a span of life? If then you are not able to do a small a thing as that, why are you anxious about the rest? Consider the lilies, 
how they grow. They neither toll nor spin. Yet I tell you, even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. But if God so clothes the grass which is alive in the field today and tomorrow is sown into the oven, how much more will he clothe you, O you of little faith? And do not seek what you are to eat and what you are to drink, nor be worried. For all the nations of the world seek after these things, and your Father knows that you need them. Instead, seek His kingdom, and these things will be added to you. Fear not, little flock, for it is your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Sell your possessions and give it to the needy. Provide yourselves with the money bag that do not grow old. With a treasure in the heavens that does not fail, where no thief approaches and no moth destroy. For where your treasure is, there your heart be also. Let us pray. Lord, today we come to you right now and submit all the concerns of our hearts, whatever it is, Lord God, that, may, that we may find rest in you. In Christ alone, this is our prayer. Amen. Thank you so much. You can all be seated. You know, it's funny to think that in such a time as this, where everything is so advanced, where all the informations are available in the internet, and yet, according to the studies, this is the most uninformed generation. Wherein all this kind of entertainment that we have so much, right? In our cell phones, in, in our computers, and yet, it is the loneliest generation. Sad to say, according to the studies, you can Google that in the internet. We are uninformed, though there's so much information around. In other words, kulang po tayo ng wisdom. There's so many entertainment around, and yet we are so lonely. That's the sad reality. I, I, I think it's ironic. Kakaiba yon. Bakit? And you know what? There's an ever-increasing um, records of anxiety and depression and suicide all across the globe. It is really happening. And I want to tell you this, it's not just happening right now. It's happening even before the time of Jesus Christ. That's why even the Bible says, do not be anxious about anything. Philippians 4, verse 4 says that. You see? Nangyayari na po yan. Maaring lumalala lang sa panahon natin ngayon. And it's because of the advent and of this, maybe cell phones or computers or internet, wherein or we are already in a phase of our lives wherein we are all connected because of internet. And yet, the study says we are disconnected. But ganon, it's ironic, and some, and that's why even one preacher said, niya, "This is the moment when the entire civilization is already at the precipitous end of the human desolation." In other words, we are bound to our own destruction. This is what's we're going to happen. And you know what? This is truly what the Bible says. Hindi po magiging magandang mundo. If you are hoping for that, I'm sorry to tell you, it's not that. Read the scripture. Talagang magiging masama ito to the very end. Until the whole world will cry out for the Savior, Jesus Christ. Nakatakot siya tayong preaching ngayon. Ano? Parang, parang ayoko yata ang batin dito. Nakatakot siya tayong preaching dito. Pastor Noel, nangalang ulit. Wag ka nang babalik. Okay. <laughs> well, I want to tell you this. This is what the Bible tells. Okay? And so, akalo ba, Pastor, we're talking about anxiety, but parang pinapadagdaga mo sa amin. You know, that's what's going on around us. And, Every time we hear the news, listen to the news, it's so, it adds so much, all right, in the, as, as triggers to our anxiety. And that's why I want to tell you, don't listen to that. Listen to the Word of God. Pag-usapan po natin today. And you know what? If there's one thing I want to tell you first and foremost, don't worry, God cares. Even if the world tells you, you have to worry, okay, magulo ng mundo ngayon. There's, there's a news of wars happening, and if you're going to um, be in tune to the news, hindi nga, hindi nga umayos, lagi lumalala. Are you saying that? And look at the inflation. You see, it's ever increasing. Look at the prices of, you know, of crude oil and our basic commodities. Grabe po yun. And so it adds up to our anxiety. Ang dami. But you know what? Talking about that, when, when you Google the, all these triggers, marami po doon. But I think if you're going to pass through it to the strainers, what will remain is, number one, it's about money. Alam mo yun, pera ng ating mga puso, ang, yung mga pera ang problema natin. But I want to tell you, again, don't worry, God cares. Look at this. And He said to the disciples, the disciples niya po ha, masumusunod kay Jesus Christ, 
Therefore, I tell you, do not be anxious about your life, about our life, sa buhay po natin. What is it in our lives that we have not to be anxious about? Okay, marami pong concern, pero sabi Jesus Christ, ito yon about what you are going to eat or about what we're going to wear. You know, this is a big problem among us today. You know why? It is because it's not about, ano bang sinusuot? It's not about, do we have something to eat or do we have something to wear? Pagkaroon, okay lang eh. Pero if about what are we going to wear and what are we going to eat, that's where problem comes in. Kasi nga po, I want to tell you this, pwede naman kumain po tayo, let's just say Jollibee lang yan. E Jollibee lang tayo. But because, alam po tayo, we are working class, we would like to, you know, come to the point of having a different lifestyle and then we reach it because ang galing po natin magtrabaho, ang sipag po natin. Now, the problem now is maintaining the lifestyle that we actually achieved. And eh, meron kang inflation. Ang hirap ng buhay. That's why for some, oh, kaya naman, yung anak natin, ilpapasok na natin sa public school. Ano sasabihin ng mga kaibigan natin? Na kaya naman, iba na yung brand ng meat natin, tay-tay na lang. Okay? Dati may buhay, ayan eh, ngayon lang, nabungali mo na yung buhay. You know? That's the problem. It's not about, you know, the clothes that we're wearing. It's about what are we wearing. It's not about the food that we eat. It's about what the food, what kind of food we are eating. It's because of the lifestyle that we wanted to maintain. Eh, hindi naman ganun po ang buhay. I want to tell you this. Kahit ano pong kainin natin, it will boil, you know, it will come into one state of smell. Okay? Pare-pareho lang yan. Tama mo ba? Hindi sabihin, ito mayaman to kasi iba klase mabango. Okay? Ito, mahirap. Hindi po ganun. Pare-pareho lang. It's because, naalala ko lang, you know, meron po kaming kaibigan, hindi mga kaibigan, acquaintance lang. He came to us and said, and she said, you know, I don't know what to tell my friends about my, my vacation in U.S. Why? Because I already told them that I'm going to go to U.S. for vacation. Pero what, what happened? Hindi natuloy eh. And so what? I don't know how to inform them. Okay, na hindi natuloy. Nakakaya. Okay, ano sabihin nila? Ay, kung ano ba? Pati ba yung paproblemahin mo? Are you guys getting the point here? Kasi alam niyo po, naging mayabang tayong lahat. That's the problem that we, you know, that this, all these material possessions entails. As we gain much, it transforms the condition of our hearts. And so now, it's difficult for us to go back to the basic where we just can live one day at a time. Where we can see ourselves being provided by the Lord, okay, our daily bread. Kasi we are used into having our monthly bread, yearly bread, not the daily ones. Tama ba? That's why God is saying here, hey, we have to rethink the way, you know, we live or we have um, projected the lifestyle that we have. Medyo mag-iba po dapat natin gawin. Look at this. And I hope this will be comforting to us. Sabi ni Lord, consider the ravens. They neither sow nor reap. They have neither storehouse nor barn. And yet, God feeds them. Of how much more value are you than the birds? Hindi po si Mami Bird na pinag-uusapan dito. Kasi may Baba Bird dito eh. Okay. I'm going to tell you this. Yung ravens, when we're talking about that ravens, um, it's actually a detestable bird in Israel before. Um, Israelites doesn't like that because yung ravens, it's even more detestable than vulture. You know vultures? Yung vultures will actually be waiting for somebody to die or something to die. It might be, you know, an animal. And then, habang fresh pa, mainit pa, bakit lang ginaumingak, again, they go to devour it. Right? Kakainin nila Fresh pa to, mainit pa, kainin na. But we're talking about ravens, no? They're actually eating carcass. Smelly, okay? Yung mga ganun, talagang, that's why it's detestable. And God is saying, hey, look at this. This detestable animal that we dislike, guess what? God is sustaining them, feeding them. How much more are you? How much more are we? Tingnan po katabi nyo, mukha bang raven? Hindi, mukhang lovebird, di ba? Ha? Tingnan nyo, mukhang lovebird po ito, pastor. We love each other. Amen. <laughs> well, anyway, you're not even lovebirds, okay? We are all created in the image and likeness of God. Think about this. Sino po sa inyo dito, you love pets? Come on, raise your hands. Love pets. Yo, no? Ayan, ganda. Kami din po, may pet din kami. Tanong lang sa mga pet lovers here. Sino po sa inyo dito, bumili kayo ng pet, and after that, hindi kayo bumili ng pagkain ng pet nyo? 
Hindi gusto ko lang talaga ng pets. Ang ganda na ipilagin natin dyan. Panoorin natin. O, pakainin mo. Hindi, pet lang. Wala, di ba? Will tayo ng pet, it's because we are willing, okay, to spend thousands of our money to sustain, you know, the pet, the needs of our pet. How much more, you know, is our God about us, about your needs? Do you know that we are more than, you are greater than birds and pets? Amen? We are created in the image and likeness of God. If we are doing that to our pets, how much more are we? God loves you. That's why God says, don't worry, I care for you. Amen? Sabi mo sa tabi mo, you know, God cares for you. Sabi mo, sabi niyo po, okay, mahiya. Yeah, God cares for you. Look at this. In which of you, by being anxious, can add a single hour to his span of life? This is a good question. Sabi ni Jesus Christ. Tanong to eh. Can you add a single span of your life or an hour of your life by worrying? In fact, the exact opposite is the truth here. Tama ba? I knew people who actually um, face so much trouble, medically speaking, it's because of anxiety. You know, they started, you know, overthinking. Then they lose sleep, di ba? And then they knew exactly tomorrow will be another challenge to face, another deadline, demands, okay, in, in our work or maybe in our business. And yet, we're still awake. I wonder, you know, the moment where Jesus Christ was about to face death. Nakatulog ba siya on that night? Hindi ko alam. The Bible is silent. But I knew one thing. He was anxious about it. And that's why he's actually talking to his disciples. Please, keep watch. Pray with me. Tama? It might be late at night. Hindi ko lang po alam gano'n ka late yun. Kaya nga yung mga disciples tulog eh. Gabi na eh. See, Jesus Christ, He was still asleep because He knew the next day is a very tough day to face. Very challenging anxiety. Alright? Karabi po yun. But guess what? You know, I remember my wife. Ganon din po siya, very anxious. At lagi ko binabanggit sa kanya to, Mahal, humahaba bang buhay mo? Okay? Sa pag-aalala. Meron mo kilala, umikli. Sa pag-aalala, then nag- Nagkaroon na po ng palpitation, di ba? Then the high blood now is coming in the picture. Inataki na, then punta sa hospital. 80%, according to medical science, 80% of our sickness are coming from anxiety. Ganun karami. <laughs> so umikli talaga, no? Gusto niyo pong humabang buhay natin? Relax lang. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, relax lang. Yan, relax lang. Okay. <laughs> Habang buhay natin dito. Relax lang po, chill lang po tayo. Every, I, I, I talk to a person, and I think my wife can also <laughs> relate to this. Every time that due date comes, si Judith dumarating, or even before Judith comes, nag-aalala na siya. <gasps> 15th okay, of the month. <gasps> 28th of the month. Alam mo yun? Nag, nagba-pop up na agad. Automatically, ando na yun. It has been automatically programmed in her mind. Kailangan ko na mag-worry. Kasi ano na eh, 13th of the month na. 13th, <gasps> worry na. Sabi ko sa kanya, mahal, how long have we been worrying about it? 10 years? 15 years? Hindi ka pa ba natuto? Look at that. For the past 10 years, you've been worrying with the same worry in the same date okay, of the month and yet, we're not learning. So what's my point? My point is here. You have been in that situation. So move on. In other words, Look back on how God provided for you for the last 10 years with the same situation. You're still alive. We're still able to pay debt. We're still able to pay all our, you know, all this that we have to pay for. And so what? Why worry? Are you guys getting the point there? Eh, makakabahid ka pala. worry ka pa. The problem is, alam niyo kung bakit? Because our mind is already programmed to worry in the same day. Ang tawag po dyan, neural path. Neural pattern. Okay. Sino po sa inyo dito, natry nyo nang pumunta sa mga damuhan, mga bundok-bundok. Kamang, tasang kamay. Yun. Iba po, turuan nyo ha. Okay. Hindi pa alam. Kapag dumaan po kayo sa mga probinsya ng gano'n, mga damuhan, makita po ninyo, ah, ito yung pathway. Why? Kasi walang damo. Tama? Maraming dumadaan doon. It's a pathway. And you know what? Wala kasing damo yun. Kasi from time and time again, may dumadaan doon, paulit-ulit. Same as true with the patterns of our mind. Meron po dyang parte na parang walang damo, 
na lagi mong dinadaanan. What is that? The pathway of anxiety. At alam ng mind natin kung kailan ka dadaan doon. And that's why automatically, pagdating po ng day na yan, you know, out of the blue, mag-worry ka, ah, nag-worry ako, hindi ako makakatulog. Bakit? I want, I want to challenge you. Look for the day. Look for the day. It's always on that day. That we call that neural pathway. So what's the solution? Eh di wag kang dumaan. Okay ba yun? Ganun lang kasimple yun. Wag po kayong dumaan doon, tutubo ang damo doon until such a time, di mo na makita. Okay ba? Paano yun? Eh hindi po sa preaching ngayon yun. Okay po ba? We can actually talk to your pastors or you know leaders about it. It's counseling. Okay, we can do about it. But I want to tell you, there is actually escape from the valley of anxiety. Nadaan lang po tayo dyan. So, coming from that, also with my example, na eh, ganun pala eh, every time, in every moment of this month, lagi tayo nag-worry, eh, so ba't pa tayo mag-worry? Sayang tayo dyan. So, wag na. Alam naman natin, we're going to be able to pay about it. Okay, for it. And so, gusto ko lang po sabihin sa Tagalog. Maganda sa Tagalog to eh. Ang solusyon sa labi sa pag-alala ay ang pag-alala sa katapatan ng Diyos. Amen? Nagsabi ko sa wife ko, you know what? God has been faithful for the last 10 years that we've been together. Or 15 years na nga eh, we've been together. We never failed paying our, you know, bills. Every time na mayroong pasokan, okay, tuition fees, lagi ka nag-worry. Pero matagal na nag-aaral anak natin. Ba't mag-worry ka? Pwede ka pa nasanay. Okay po ba yun? Sabi mo sa katabi mo, sanay ka na dapat. Sabi mo, sabi mo, sanay ka na dapat. Yeah, sanay ka na. Look at this. Consider the lilies, how they grow. They neither nor tall nor spin. Yet I tell you, even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Sabi ni God, ito nga walang kwenta-kwentang halaman na to. Okay. May kwenta naman kahit konti. Okay. Baka magalit po sa akin dito yung mga plantitos, plantitas niyan. May kwenta. Napaganda. Di ba? We, we love looking at it. Actually, pastor, yan nga po yung ano ko eh. Panlabang sa anxiety. Every time I look at the flowers of the fields, no? you know, I, I feel rejuvenated and refreshed. Mas okay po yan kaysa tingnan ko yung asawa ko. Iba po nangyayari. Okay. Pero, I hope you're getting the point. The point here is, those plants were definitely of lesser value compared to us as human beings. And yet, si God sabi niya, with all of His creativity and grace and love and mercy, He put so much color to them, beauty to them. In other words, God cares for them. And so if God cares for them, He cares for you much more, all the more. Amen? I hope this one is comforting to us. Look at this. If God clothes the grass which is alive, in the field, and tomorrow is thrown into hell, to oven, how much more will He clothe you? Oh, you of little faith. Ito kasi yung problem. The problem is, we are of little faith. Grabe yung kasalanan, yung ating pong pananampalataya, ang liit. And that's why I want to tell you this. Yung alam po nyo, yung labis na pag-alala, yan po ay sintomas ng walang pananampalataya. Money problem is one of the easiest problems for Christians. I realize that money problem is not a money problem, it's actually faith problem. Because we just can't bring ourselves to trust God completely, have faith that God will provide for us. We feel like we are actually, maybe, if we don't have faith, ko lang po, we feel like we are actually more detestable than the ravens. Para bang, buti pa yung mga uwak, pinapakain mo, Lord, paano kami? Mamamatay kami sa gutom. Okay, magtotoo ba yun? I, I, I think not. Sabi po ni Lord dito, do not seek what you are to eat and what you are to drink, nor be worried for all the nations of the world seek after these things and your Father knows that you need them. This is what, you know, this is the key here. Jesus Christ said, well, I know that we all have these needs. And guess what? Those people who doesn't have faith in God, they're searching for it. They're doing the best that they can to have it. But you are of faith. And so therefore, don't do that. Okay? Iba po tayo. Sabi rito, think about this. Your God, the Father, knows exactly that you need that. Ako po, I'm also a father. And ako po, hindi po ako sing bait. Napakalayo ko po sa Diyos nating Ama. Okay? Malayong malayo. And yet, yung mga anak ko po, hindi pa lumapit sa akin to remind me, Daddy, intuition ko ha. Oh, Daddy, yung bill natin. Oh, Dad, nag-grocery ka na ba? O yung ano, yung internet, wala. They're just happy, enjoying, and playing around, you know. 
wala po sila mga cares in life. Masaya lang sila. Why? Because they knew that we, their parents, are loving them. That we provide for them. That we took care or taking care of them. See? That's the faith of a child. Sino po sa inyo rito lagi kayo nag-remind kay Lord? Panginoon, malapit na po yung ano, tuition ng anak ko, Panginoon. Di ba? Ayun na po yung bill, yung Judith na naman, Panginoon, dyan na naman. Ano ba yan, Lord? Ay! Pag ganon, di ba? We, as if God doesn't knew it. Alam po ni Lord dyan eh. You know what? I want to challenge you. Why don't we just be like those child? Playing around, enjoying the relationship, enjoying the time with the Lord, and having that confidence in our heart that God will provide. Sino po rito ang anak ni Lord? Tas ang kamay. Iniwala ang anak ka ng Diyos. Yun, no? Sige, tas kamay mo. Tas kamay mo. Ayan. Ayan. Naniniwala ho ba kayong mahal ni kayo ni Lord? Naniniwala ho ba kayo na si God covered na yung iniisip nyo? The problem is, we actually dethroned God, okay, from His throne being God, the one who's taking care of us. Gusto natin tayo na. Eh, iniisip na nga ni Lord yun eh. Pero gusto natin tayo mag-isip. Hindi, Lord, mo isipin yan. Ako na mag-isip. Mas matalino ko sa'yo. Ganon po ang dating natin. Sabi ni, ni God dyan, you know, sabi po ni Jesus Christ, iniisip na ng Father mo in heaven yan. So, huwag mo nang isipin. Okay po ba? Sabi mo sa katabi mo, oy, huwag kang mayabang. Okay, masabi mo. Huwag kang mayabang, hindi ka si Lord. Sabi mo lang, sabi mo lang. Yan, okay. Huwag kang masyado mag-isip. Pana- yan po ay trabaho ni Lord, di mo trabaho yan. Okay ba yun? I want to challenge you, just enjoy your relationship with God. No matter what it is that concerns you, just give it to God and enjoy your moment. Come on. Ipalapakan natin si Lord. Ano po yung enjoy ka lang. And lastly, sabi po rito, do not be afraid because God provides. Yan no? coming from that word as well. Don't be anxious, don't worry because God cares for you, God cares for us. Don't be anxious or do not be afraid naman. Because God provides. Sabi po rito, instead, seek His kingdom and these things will be added to you. Look at that. The whole world actually are seeking for money and that, you know, it's, it's difficult for them to get it. Kasi yung money daw po, parang babae yan eh. The more you, you know, you pursue it, the more nagpapakipot. Okay? Ganun daw. But if you're going, sabi ni Jesus Christ, but if you're going to seek not the money, not the wealth of this world, but the kingdom of God, then all these things will be added to you. Iaad po ni Lord yun. Kanda, no? You know what? The world is chasing for money, but those who are chasing after God, they are being chased by money and riches and wealth. Karon po nangyayari dito eh. Fear not, little flock, for it is your Father's good pleasure to give you your kingdom. Sabi ni God, yung kingdom nga ni Lord, ng aking Father in heaven, will be given to you. Eh, how much more yung needs that we have here on earth? Wala po yung kwenta compared to the kingdom of God that is available for you and for me. Grabe yun. I hope you're get, getting that in our minds. And that's why, look at the challenge. Sabi po ni Jesus Christ, sell your possession. Ayan, sell your possession. Benta. Gusto nyo to? Parang ayaw nyo na. Ano mo tong preaching na to? Bentahan na yata to ha. Okay. <laughs> and give it to the needy. Provide yourselves with money bags that do not grow old. God is talking about generosity here. It's not literally mean, benta mo na lahat, although ginagawa nila noon. But God is saying, I want to put a challenge to you to put your complete trust in me that I'm going to provide for whatever you're needing here on earth. How are you going to accept the challenge? Provide for the needs of others as well. Iyon po siya sabi ng Lord dito, okay? And store up for yourselves. Yung mga treasures hindi po nasisira. That's in heaven. Wala pong thieves, walang moth. Nobody destroys. Alright, if we're going to come to the point of the conclusion na, oh nga, mahal ako ni Lord, I should not be afraid. Kasi, sa totoo lang, takot po ako mawala ng pera eh. Tasang kamay, mga takot mawala ng pera. Ayun, oh, di ba, meron. Maamin tayo. Bakit? For many reasons. Because of anxiety. What if wala tayong pera? What if pumputol tayo ng kuryente? What if hindi tayo magpagpakasyon? What if wala tayong pangdamit? Paano kakainin natin ng grocery? Kumakain ka pa lang ngayon, you're thinking about what to eat tomorrow. Kumakain tayo. Ano kakain natin bukas? Di ba? Ganun, no? We're so worried about it. Naalala ko lang po, ang dami pong mga nagireklamo during the pandemic. Mamamatay kami sa gutom! Diba? Have you heard that? Rally, rally dito. Mamamatay kami sa gutom! Anong gagawin mo? Alam niyo po, ngayon, for more than two years, ang daming namatay sa sakit, pero wala pa sa gutom. Pansin niyo ba? 
naalala ko lang, meron ako kaibigan, no? Yung mga kaibigan, kapitbahay, has been standby ever since na makilala ko siya. I'm already 40 years old, 42 years old. Wala pa rin trabaho. Guess what? Buhay pa hanggang ngayon. Pansin niyo? <laughs> Buhay! Bakit? E yung ibon kasi binubuhay nun, siya pa kaya? You know what? Yung mga natakutan po natin, baka mamatay tayo, hindi po yan mangyayari. Kasi mahal ka ni God. Amen? How are we going to battle that fear? Try to be generous. Yan, challenge. 500 pesos lang pala yan eh. 500 lang pala yan, pastor. Sige na nga, I want to accept the challenge. Bigyan mo ako ng limang daan yan. Mabihan ako kaagad. Ganun ba? <laughs> love the city. Hindi, I love the nation. Hindi lang city. Okay, ibang klase ka. O sige, pwede. It's between you and God. Okay ba yun? Grabe, si, si Idol dito, sinasabi niya kanina yun eh. Alright? And you know what, guys? Last verse, I think Jesus Christ is diagnosing the contents of our heart. What is the treasure of our hearts? Sabi niya rito, for where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Is it money? Is it God? Is it His kingdom? How many of you here would like to put complete trust in God? Come on. Yeah, no? Meron, no? That you would love to see yourself in a context, you know, in, in, a, in a parameter of life wherein you can in truly enjoy it far from anxiety. That no matter what happened, you know that your needs are being cared of, being covered by the love of God, that you are being protected, that no matter how worse the news would be, okay, it might be, say, it might be you know, being said in the world, come on, end of the world now, we can still say, whatever it is, bring it on. I am covered by the love of God, I am living in the center of God's grace and mercy. I am a son, I am a daughter of God, I am being cared for, I am being provided. So no matter what happened, I will still rejoice. The Bible says, rejoice. Again, I tell you, rejoice. Amen. Be at peace with all. Come on, let's give the Lord a clap of a hand. Let's all stand. Having said all of this, I want to tell you this, there's no space for anxiety and fear for anyone whose heart and mind is focused on Jesus Christ. Focus lang po tayo kay Lord. Then all of this anxiety, concerns na meron tayo, I believe it will just slowly melt away. Unti-unti pumawala po yan. When I go back in the story of Jesus Christ, ang sabi niya ron, Lord, as much as possible, take this cup away from me. I cannot bear it. Napakahirap po nito. That's why I told you, nakatulog kaya siya noon? Knowing that tomorrow he's going to face his death. It's not little injection. It's the gruesome, painful, shameful death for you and for me. Buti sana kung para sa kanyang kasalanan. Hindi eh. For the sins, not of his friends, but of his enemies. What an irony. You know, I don't know about you, but I want to ask lang, or maybe, can we just bow our heads? I just want to make this time to pray and then we're going to worship. Maybe you're just like Jesus today. No? Hindi naman Savior of the world. But maybe, you know that tonight it will be difficult for you to sleep because tomorrow is a great challenge that awaits. Just like Jesus Christ. I don't know, it might be sa trabaho or sa negosyo. It might be a relationship or it might be the challenge of providing food for our table. I don't know about that. But I want you to focus your eyes on Jesus. He caused him sleepless night, probably in the mountain of Gethsemane that night. It's because he's facing the greatest challenge of a man. And that is to die the death that is not for his own face a gruesome death for someone who hates him and that costs him so much that tears falls from his eyes, rolls from his eyes, not a normal tears, but crimson red. Grabe po yung kanyang hinaharap. And guess what? Hinarap po ni Lord yan for you and for me to tell you na kung ano man po yung harapin mo bukas, pinagtagumpayan na po ng Panginoon yan. You just have to surrender it to God. Ang sabi ni Jesus Christ, not my will, but let your will be done. Before we pray about it, I 
just want all of us to come to God and let us worship. Pwede ba? Let's just dedicate our hearts to God. Okay ba yun? Just to say today, Lord, I want to tell you that you are my desire. Forgive me because the desire of my heart is all the wealth that this world offers. But now I'm making a decision to set my heart for you, Lord, to love you. You're all I desire. Come on, let's come to God with all our hearts and worship you.